everyone. So, today I have something a little different. I actually have a haul from um, an antique store. So, let's get started. So, I had to drop my mom off to her ukulele practice um, at the senior center. And there is, actually, there is an antique mall that is somewhat close by, so I decided to spend a couple of, you know, well, basically an hour um, walking around. And I found this book. As you can see, it is taped. The, uh, the uh, spine is taped up. It's just a big, you know, big, big storybook. And this was a $2.50. So this is, well, I don't know what year this was from. Because there's, you can see right here, there is some writing. But this book was published, I mean, copyright is 1944 and then to 1955. So I'm going to assume 1955. But I mean, look at how nicely the pages have aged. And because the book is already been taped up, I mean, the spine, let's literally look at this. So I could go ahead and um, cut it off the spine and use this for uh, making junk journal, um, you know, like pages or I guess as they call them, call them signatures so yeah that's the reason why I, uh, I bought this book oops oh no it ripped um, even the ladies at the cashier were like shocked at how cheap the book was 250 and they were asking me what I was gonna do with it and I told them that I was going to use um, use it for a junk journal which they were pretty excited about because they you know they thought that was a great idea to not you know they don't like seeing books um, go to waste meaning like thrown up thrown away and that would be a good way to use an old book so I also bought some antique lace as you can see here that's what it says let me get it in focus okay um, this was actually right by the door um, in a booth that was set up and yeah I mean it's I'm not sure how much is on here it doesn't really say but clearly it is some old lace and I actually bought this for my friend Clarissa. Um, I had actually found two. One was a little bit bigger and it did have some different lace but this one seemed to have more. So that's why I chose that. So this was only $4, not bad. And then the last thing that I got, I found this packet um, of postcards old postcards so it says in here all postcards for seven dollars but when the lady rang it rang it up on the computer it showed that this was 40 percent off which was great so it was a lot cheaper than what um you know what it said on here and the reason why i bought these is because they had writing already on there look at this this was sent to somebody on hate street in san francisco and let's see what this is look at that from 1904 not sure I'm gonna have to like really look through all of these and try to read but um, yeah I didn't open the bag when I was there I was just I saw them and I thought I have to get these I think this is German and they were sent from San Francisco I don't know because that looks like it's German on there. Yeah, somebody that lived on Haight Street. I'm going to have to look up and see if the address is still legit, if the uh, actual house is still there. So it's some, somebody, okay, from so-and-so Hamburg. So they are, they're from Germany, addressed to somebody living in San Francisco. And it's a whole bunch of them. Look at that. Isn't that interesting? Miss Annie somebody. Yeah. Same person. Here's some that weren't used. So I can't wait to uh, look it up and see, you know, if the house is still there and what it looks like. Dear brother. Just says 04. So, I mean, I'm assuming it's but then again, I mean, were they producing color postcards like this back then? See, now that one says March 25th, 07. 
Yeah, it is. Look at that. 1907. I mean, are these 100-year-old postcards? I don't know. But that's pretty awesome, though. You know, look at this one. Maybe they were pen pals, or maybe it was a relative. I don't know. But I like that they did have them in these um, little bags. Yeah, look at that. 1910. This is so cool. I have a bunch of like antique um, or vintage, whatever you want to call them, um, postcards from France that I bought in a lot years ago from um, eBay. I think I probably paid 10 bucks and I got like 100 postcards, but they didn't have any writing on them. So this is pretty awesome. I'm so pleased with this. Um, the fact that I got them 40% off. I did check around to see if there was possibly more um, in that booth, but unfortunately there wasn't. So, yep. So that is my haul from the antique store. So I hope everyone's had a good weekend. All right, on to the next haul. Bye.